For the first fit algorithm, it's important we take each of the numbers in order. So for our first bin, we're going to put in the first number, number 5. So we'll cross that one off. The next number, 3, that will fit in, because so far we've only got a total of 8. And I would write the total as I add each one in. So that's the 3 on there. I then add the next one, that's a 3. Okay, adding another 3 makes the total now be 11. Adding the next number, 4, that's okay. I can add that one in. My total is now 15. And the 6 doesn't actually fit in that one. So I've got to start the next bin. So for number 2, I've got a 6. Let's cross that one off. The next one, the 4, will fit into the first bin. You've always got to add into the first available one. So we put that one in there. Cross that one off. That makes that total 19. Then the next number is a 6. Well, I can't fit that into the first bin, so that one goes into the second one. That now has a total of 12. Cross that off. Uh, the next number is an 8. I, can fit, I can't fit that into the first bin, but I can fit it into the second one. So I put that in. That gives me a total of 20, and that one is now finished. I'll put a tick to say that one's complete so I don't keep looking at it. Cross off the 8. The 10 doesn't fit in the first bin, second bin's finished, so I start the third bin, there's the 10. 6 doesn't go in the first, go, goes in the third, so there's the 6. That gives me a total of 16 on that one. The 5 doesn't fit into that one, so I've got to start another bin off, so there's the 5. 6 doesn't fit in the first, doesn't fit in the third. Goes in there, so that's now got a total of 11. Cross that one off. 2, well the first available one is number 3, so it's going in there, giving me a total of 18 now. Cross the 2 off. The first available one for the 4 is that one. Cross the 4 off. That gives me a total of 15 in there. Next one is a 4, the first available one is that one. That gives me a total of 19. Cross the 4 off. 1. Now the 1 actually fits into the first bin, giving me a total of 20 on that one. So that bin is now complete. Cross the 1 off. 8. Well, it doesn't fit in any of those, so we've got to go to the next one. That goes in there. Cross that one off. And a 2. The first available one for that one is bin number 3. That gives me a total of 20 in there. Tick. And then uh, cross the 2 off. Now the last one, 10, has got to go into this last one, giving a total of 18. And that's all of the values put into the bins. You've got to make sure that it's the first available one, not just the last bin that you were working on, but always check, does it go in the first bin, then the second bin, then the third bin, and so on. But that's it for that one.